Earlier this year, it was agreed upon that government will pay a one-off payment of $1,000 plus 3% for 2017 and 2018 and 4% increase for 2019 to public servants. However, President General of the Bank and General Workers Union says workers of the Boulon propagating plant seem to have been sidelined from this deal. Justin Campbell says they were informed that government will only pay the one-off payment of $1,000 plus 3% for 2017. He says based on the information received from government, the 3% increase for 2018 plus the 4% for 2019 is dependent upon the outcome of negotiation with the Ministry of Agriculture and the Cocoa Association. The union will not back down. The workers are on strike. And um, as of today, we haven't received any information or any dialogue or any correspondence from the Ministry of Agriculture, neither the chairman of GNT. So in a nutshell, we will be on the street, we will protest until we get that matter settled. According to Campbell, workers have now done tools as a sign of protest, demanding that their money is paid by the end of June. Mount Rule got their money and um, other ex because um, based on the letter that we see from the then permanent secretary, Ms. Gemma Bain Thomas, was Maran and um, Boulong Estes and Ashenden. All the other workers got the monies. Why you have to separate Boulong workers? They are workers too. They are filling it and they are hurting. So we couldn't do anything but to take the necessary action. In 2009, the government took over the responsibility of paying the salaries of workers at the Boulogne propagating plant. That decision was made since the Cocoa Association was experiencing financial difficulties at the time. Efforts to reach both the chairman of the government negotiating team, Ms. Beryl Isaac, and the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, Ms. Marina Jessime, proved futile. Akisha Felix for GBN News.